welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time i'm gonna be doing some halloween nails on myself so i honestly don't know what i'm gonna do just yet like i have some foils that i bought that are really pretty but i also bought like these little um charms that are like the little mummy i also have some school rhinestones and then I have some, um, what are these? Like the little stickers uh, or decals, sorry. The decals, I have a few. These I've had for a long time. And then these are the ones that I have on my website right now, which I'll be sure to leave the link down below. And then I ordered these not too long ago. And these are just like nail stickers. So I don't know exactly what I want to do, but I definitely want them to be very Halloween-ish. So um i'll decide what i'm gonna do once we get you know the acrylic part down and all that good stuff um so i'm gonna go ahead and get started now i'm only gonna be doing my left hand because of course i'm not gonna be leaving these on just because i actually have somewhere to go this weekend and i don't want to wear these nails for that um for what i'm doing so the nail tips that I'm actually going to be using today are these nail tips that I bought um, because I want to try them out and they're stiletto. Um, I haven't used them yet at all. They feel like they're going to be pretty sturdy, but I bought these because I've been seeing that a lot of people have been using like the stiletto nails to do the coffin nails. Um, even though I know how to shape really well, I just wanted to use these because you guys know that I have some clients that want their nails really long. And these are a bit longer than the ones that I usually use, so I'm just going to be testing these out. And most likely, I am going to be leaving them this long this long, and this shape as well. So I'm going to go ahead and, of course, um, size my nails. Again, since I'm not going to be leaving these on, I'm not going to be prepping my nail. I don't want to remove the shine or anything, but of course, for any full set... Of course, you want to push back the cuticles, remove the shine from the natural nail, you know, trim up your natural nail if you need to. But for this video, I'm not going to do that and I'm sorry about that. But I've been trying to record more videos on my nails. And of course, I don't want to just keep, you know, doing that every time that I do my nails. So these nail tips come from a number zero to a number nine. So let's see, my pinky will probably be like a nine. Let's see. This one still looks a bit big yeah so they definitely come pretty big because this is the smallest one and this is big for my pinky so i'm gonna go ahead and just set two of the or one aside because i'm only doing one hand so that's my pinky let's see and i'm again i'm also just testing these out because i want to see if i want to sell these as well but um one thing that i am noticing is that they're pretty um let's see they're not as flimsy as others i do have some tips that are already stiletto and I, I think i still have them maybe not no i think i i don't think i have them anymore but they were stiletto too and they were like super flimsy and these like you know they don't bend as easily as you can see like they're not as flimsy so i do like that about these we have a number seven for this one Oh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go down to a number six. Where's my six? I think I dropped here though. I dropped them earlier. Middle finger is a number six. Um, my index finger will probably be a number seven as well. Maybe a six or eight. I'm gonna go with a six or sorry a number seven yep seven and then for my thumb let's try a number one yeah that worked so we have our nail tips down remember that when you're picking your nail tips you want to make sure that the nail tips go exactly from sidewall to sidewall you don't want them too big or too small I'm going to go ahead and put all of these up. Okay, so next we're going to be applying the nail tips. Again, I, for this, for the purpose of this video, will not be, uh, like, removing the shine from my natural nails. So, of course, again, I want to strictly, you know, remind you guys that 
I am not prepping my nail, but you do have to do that when you're doing your nails. Um, of course, if you want to keep them. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the nail tips. I'm using the KDS glue, which I do have this on my website. Again, my website is open right now. So if you're interested, I will be sure to leave the link down below. Okay, and these nail tips, as you can see, they're not the regular tips that just have like that small line. These are, I believe, are called Half Moon um or no full well i think these are full well and these actually um the way you apply these is you apply the glue on there and you hold them at your free edge just like this here i'll i'll hold my phone over or flip my finger over so you there's a line right here and that's basically the guide to where you your nail should go so once your finger or your nail bumps that line you like line it up and then just press it down so don't just go in there and put it down Start right there and just press it down. So I think this one's the right one. Let's see. Yeah. So same thing, just hold it at the very tip and then press down. That way you don't get any air bubbles in there. So same thing. So apply the glue right on the tip, grab your nail, place it at the tip and press down. Okay, same thing for the other two. Alrighty, so I applied the nail tips and they're pretty long, but I'm gonna leave them like this just for this video. So now, of course, if you wanted to, you can go in and just trim the nails down, but since I'm gonna keep them this way, I'm gonna go in and just, of course, blend them in in the middle. And that part of the nail right here is pretty thick, so I'm actually gonna go in there with my sanding band to just speed up the process. So again, I'm just gonna be blending in the nail tip and we're just gonna basically be filing this part of the nail, so where the natural nail and the tip meet. And I'm not filing on my natural nail, we're literally just filing down the actual nail tip. Alrighty, so we just blended the nail tip right in the middle just a little bit not too much so now we can go in and apply the acrylic so i'm not going to worry about you know just um doing all of the steps because we're going to focus more on the nail art part i wish that i had some stiletto press on nails but i unfortunately don't which is why i'm using these nail tips so we're going to go ahead and apply the acrylic after this Alrighty, so for this set, I'm going to be using the Frosted Pink by Mia Secret. And I'm also going to be using the Clear and, of course, the Monomer. And for my brush, I'm using my Alpha Brush in a number 10. And this is the part where you would apply the primer. But again, we're not leaving these nails on. So I'm not going to apply the primer. Um, I do want, like, two of my nails to glow. So that's why I have the Frosted Pink because it does glow in, in, in the dark. Um, so we're gonna do that on probably like two nails. So we're gonna go ahead and get started um, I'm gonna go in with the clear and I'm gonna apply that on the thumb So I applied my first bead where the natural nail and the tip meet And then I'm gonna start patting it down very gently brushing it down towards the tip.
okay so we have the first bead down so the next one we're gonna apply right at the tip and as you can see since the nails are a lot longer I'm working with more product so I'm gonna place that one like right there again gently patting it down wiping the sides and then very gently brushing it down towards the tip you don't want to brush too hard because you don't want to brush that product off the nail okay so I applied the second bead and my tip as you can see is still very thin so I'm going to go in and apply another bead right at the tip, just right there. Alrighty, so next we're going to go in and apply the acrylic closer to the cuticle area. So we're going to go ahead and dip our brush in. We have our bead, we're going to place it closer to the cuticle area, patting it down, and then brushing it down. Make sure that if it gets on the skin, you brush it off immediate, immediately, because if not, it's going to dry off and it's not going to come off very easily. Alrighty, so this is what we have so far so of course we need to apply another bead right in the middle which is what's going to create our apex especially with these long nails you want to make sure that you have a nice apex because if not the nail will break off really easily so you don't want just a really flat nail you want to make sure that again you have a nice apex Alrighty y'all, so this is what we have. So that is the first nail. As you can see, I have a nice thickness right here. And then my tip is also um, a nice thickness as well. So now for the other ones, I think for these two, I'm going to do the frosted um, pink acrylic, which is the one that will glow in the dark. So same thing, first bead right in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meets. Patting it down and brushing it down towards the tip. All right, second bead right below that first one. Oops, I accidentally grabbed clear.
Alrighty, so we're done with the second finger. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the middle finger. So again, we're using the frosted pink. Place the bead right in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meets. Patting it down, making sure that if it goes to the sides that we push it back up towards the nail. And then we're gonna brush it down towards the tip being very, very gentle. Alrighty, so we're done with those three fingers. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the clear on the pinky and the ring finger.
Alrighty y'all, so I just finished applying the acrylic and this is what they look like. They're really long and they actually feel like they weight down my fingers. Like that's how, like, I guess thick, I guess, I don't know, but they feel heavy. Like I don't see how people can wear these. Um, but this is what they look like from these sides. So now we're going to go ahead and put our products up. So again, I use the clear acrylic by Mia Secret. I use the uh, frosted pink also by Mia Secret. And I actually just ordered me another container of these. And then I'm using the Mia Secret monomer. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of that to the side. And then of course, next we're going to be doing our shaping and filing and all that good stuff. So to shape up the nails, I'm going to be using a 100-100 nail file, and these are the same ones that I have on my website. Now, one thing that I can say about these tips that I like is that I like how they don't curve. I know there's people out there that like their nails to, for, for their nails to curve, but I'm personally one of those people that don't like nails that curve. So as you can see, those are the rough edges that I'm talking about. So that's why we have to go in and redefine the shape. Alrighty y'all, so I finished reshaping the nails and this is what they look like. So now I'm gonna go in with my find your bit and I'm gonna be filing all of the nails. And y'all, this is like so funny to me because I've never had my nails like this and I wouldn't even know what to do or how to do anything. But now we're going in with the find your bit and of course we're gonna start around the cuticle area going from the right side over to the left side to seal the cuticle area. And again, even though I'm not keeping these nails, I still wanna show you all of the steps. So once we file the cuticle area really good, we're going to file the rest of the nail to make sure that it's all nice and smooth. And make sure that as always, you look at the nail from different angles to make sure that you don't have any bumps and lumps. Same thing, going around that cuticle area. And then filing the rest of the nail to smooth it out. And when I'm filing around the cuticle area, if you notice, I use the tip of my drill bed. I go in there with the very tip and then for the rest of the nail, I just use the belly of the drill bit, which would be this part. Alrighty y'all, so we finished filing all of the nails with the fine drill bed. So now we're gonna go in with a buffer and we're just gonna buff them really good.
these long nails are like super hard to do on yourself because whenever I was actually shaping them up, y'all like it hurt from, I guess, I don't, I don't know, but it was hurting. So it's like you have to hold them when you're doing everything because if not, they will hurt. Alrighty, y'all, so we buffed them, or I buffed them as good as I could. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands, but this is what they look like after we did the shaping, the falling, and the buffing. Y'all, they are like huge. <laughs> They're so big and long. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands, and I will be right back. Alrighty, y'all, so um, I found a picture of some nails that I liked, which are these. I don't know if you guys can see. I love that eye, and these are by Hot Tips Beauty, so I'll be sure to leave her information down below. I also like this drip nail, which I've done that before. Um, so these are by Erica Marie Nails, and then I like that one that the um do not enter now these are by jasmine casey which i love her work so i'm gonna just you know do different things i really wanted to do the um like one of these but i'm gonna see what happens um i'm gonna try to do the eye first because it's out of like acrylic so if that doesn't work out then i'll do something different um but let's see I think the eye I would do like on my ring finger. So basically what I want to do is make like a big bead. So I'm going to go ahead and get the acrylic. And I'm going to let it dry just a little bit before I apply it on the actual nail. Because we want it to basically be like a, a perfect circle. I'm going to put my finger upside down. I'm gonna put it upside down because I don't want the acrylic to spread. I want it to be like an actual bead. I'm gonna blow on it so it can hurry up and dry. Okay, so that definitely looks a lot better than I was expecting. So as you can see, it's just like a big bead, a big circle. So I'm definitely gonna be able to achieve that look that I was going for. I was nervous about it, but I think I got it. So again, for this one, we're gonna do an eye and I just used the white acrylic and the same Mia Secret Monomer. And I believe this white glows in the dark. I'm not sure, but we'll find out at the end. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. Um, I do want, I believe an orange nail maybe. Yeah, I might be doing an orange nail, maybe the pinky. So I'm using the color Pumpkin Pie by Madam Glam. I do have a promo code for them. So I will be sure to leave that down below. So I'm gonna apply that on the entire pinky. And I'm going to clean up my cuticle area. Okay, so that's that pinky. Um, I think maybe I can still incorporate some of these foils. Maybe on one of the white nails. I could probably do... Oh, yeah, maybe this will fit on here. The Halloween. Yeah, it will fit. Okay, so I'm probably going to do the foil on that one. So I am going to be using, let's see, okay, so I'm going to be using the foil gel. This one is by Nail Supply Glamour, and then these are from Amazon, so I'll leave that link down below. But I used to use the foil glue, which it kind of was like a hit and miss. 
um but with this one like you are able to do like a perfect foil nail with this one so it's basically like a gel top coat i feel like um but it's for your foil so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this on here on the entire nail I'm gonna place, let's see, I think I want a black nail as well. What else did I say? I said I like the black one. I like that one, let's see. I'm gonna do probably the thumb black. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do on this finger just yet. Maybe like some drip. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I'm going to go ahead and cure those nails for now. Okay, so we cured those for 30 seconds. So now for this one is the one I'm going to do the foil on. Let's see. So I'm gonna do the word Halloween on this one. You can cut it, but I'm just gonna do it like this. So just place it on the nail and then with your finger, just rub it on there. Wait, this wasn't even the finger. I accidentally did the wrong finger. So, so let's see, it was this finger. Right there, pat it down. Okay, so that's what that looked like. It just says Halloween. I'm probably gonna go ahead, let's see. I need some, I want some bats on here. Oh, do we have some on this one? Yeah, here's one. So I'm gonna do some bats, maybe like right there. Oh, it didn't go on good. Okay, no, never mind. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove some of that stuff that got on the rest of the nail that I don't want. And you can just use your little brush with the acetone and just wipe it off. And then this one, I didn't mean to do that. Alrighty, so we did the finger with the foil that just says Halloween. So now we're gonna do the eye one. So since we already have the um acrylic ball on there we're gonna go in with the blue for the middle of the eye and this is a blue by madame glam in the color freshen or uh, fresh me up and i'm gonna basically draw like a circle in the middle let's see okay so i'm just gonna do like a circle let's get that out of the way right in the middle Alrighty, so just like that, so again, we just did the blue, which is, um, where is it? Which is this one, Fresh Me Up, and we just did a circle in the middle. And this brush is actually from Young Nail, so I will be sure to leave that link down below. 
And then next, for the little lines on the like outside of the eye, if you can see, we're gonna be using my smaller brush and I got these from Amazon. And I'm gonna use a red polish. I'm gonna use Perfect Red also by Madame Glam. So I'm gonna do the black first. With my dotting tool, I'm going to go in and do the circle in the middle. So like right in the middle. Like right there. And then now we're just going to basically do like the little black veins. Very small, like very, very small. Just wiggle your brush as you're doing this. You don't want just straight lines. Alrighty, so just like that. So now we're gonna do the red veins. Um, I'm actually gonna, well no, I'm gonna keep that same red. So I'm, again, this is Perfect Red by Madame Glam. And the veins we're gonna do like coming from the side up towards the middle. Okay, just like that. Y'all, that looks so good. Like, I'm amazed at how good I did. So now, what's next? Okay, so now we're going to do the blood around that one. So I'll probably do like the drip on this one as well, maybe. I know I do want to add some bats on this one because I just feel like it's too plain. So I'm going to apply another coat of the foil gel. I'm just applying it over what's already there. I just feel like it was too plain, so. And I think it's some eyes on here as well, so I'm probably going to add some of those eyes too. Okay. So now, let's see. I need to find a darker red for, like, the blood. Okay, I might use this one, even though it has a little bit of glitter, but I really like this one, and I've actually used it before for the same thing. So for this one, we're going to, let's see. Or should I just use plain red? I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one. So for this one, we're basically gonna do the drip effect coming from the eye. Let's see. So we just do like a circle and just drag it up. Connect the dots and just making like different heights. I'm also gonna go ahead and outline the eye with the same red. Okay, and our drips just ran into each other so make sure that you work quickly when you're doing this because since we're applying the polish on there thicker than we usually would it will run so i'm gonna go ahead and do that again and it also moved because the way i was moving my finger you know back and forth Just like that so we're gonna go ahead and cure that okay so we cured that very quickly so now I'm gonna go in and try something I'm gonna try to do the splatter technique 
with the straw so i literally just got the straw from my chick-fil-a drink and i just dipped it into the gel polish no it's not working i definitely need a, a smaller straw yeah i need a smaller straw Let's see, I'm gonna try to go look for a smaller straw and see if it works. If not, we'll try something different. Okay, so I'm gonna try the smaller straw. I'm gonna cut it, let's see. And I, again, I'm dipping it into the gel polish. And then I'm gonna just blow out the straw. No, not working. Yeah, I'm not sure how people do that, but so I'm going to go ahead and just try something different. Um, let's see. Um, I probably what I'm probably going to do is like draw some more eyes, like maybe some smaller eyes. But instead of doing them with the acrylic, I'm just gonna do them with polish. Okay, and then I'm thinking that for my index finger, I want to add some back. So I'm just gonna be using, let's see. I think I'm gonna use some of these. I know I had already did the foil gel, but these look a lot better. So I'm just gonna apply a few on there. Okay, so that looks a lot better as you can see. You just add it a few bats. Um, let's see, what else do I want to do? Um, for the middle finger, maybe, let's see. I was thinking maybe for the pinky. At first I wanted it to be a pumpkin, but now I changed my mind. So I'm thinking about maybe putting like this tree, it kind of looks like a tree, um, or maybe a spider web, no. Yeah, I think I want to do this one. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the foil gel on this one. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and let that cure. Okay, so we applied the foil glue. So we can probably even do this one. Let's see. I don't know. I'm trying to see... 
I think I'm gonna end up doing this one. They're so hard to maneuver these nails. Okay, so there you go, that tree doesn't look bad. And then I definitely don't want the little candy corns on there, so I'm gonna take that off. And then I think over here I seen a witch. Okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna use this witch from over here. Yeah, I'm literally using everything that I had. So I'm gonna use this little witch and I'm gonna put her right up there. Ah, broken. Okay, let me get another one. Hopefully, I have another one. Okay. Um, do we have another witch? Okay, here goes another one. Yeah, I think I ripped it with the um, nippers. So, I'm just going to use my fingernails to get it up. And we're gonna do it this way. Just like that. So we have like the tree, and then maybe we can do, let's see. Okay, so I kind of, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did like the house at the bottom, the tree, and then the witch. So it kind of looks okay. So we're just going to leave that one like that. Um, for the middle finger, I still haven't decided what I want to do. And for the thumb, what did I say for the thumb? Should we just do, I think I'm going to just do the drip on the thumb. Let's see. So we're going to use the same color. We're going to just do a circle and drag it up. Circle and drag it up. up around the cuticle area okay I'm gonna go ahead and let that cure okay so we cured the thumb so now I think that for the middle finger I know that I wanted to do like one of these that say do not enter so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just dip my finger into the red gel polish and then I'm just gonna like tap on something and I'm gonna just do like the fingerprint on that nail. Just like that on a few spots. And we're gonna go ahead and cure that and I'm gonna do that do not enter thing on top of those fingerprints. Okay, I'm gonna do perfect yellow, which is also by Madame Glam. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna do it, let's see. I'm gonna do it kind of like in between the fingerprints. So I'm just gonna do like
Okay. So just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and cure that. Okay, so just like that. And then now with the black, we're gonna go in and just draw do not enter or write out do not enter. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that cure. Do this fingerprint on there again because I want them to be brighter. Alrighty, so I think that's enough. I, I really think that's enough now. So now we're gonna go ahead i'll wait to put all that up so now i think for my top coat i'm probably just gonna do um my diamond gel i was thinking about doing maybe the thumb um matte but i think i'm just gonna go ahead and do all of them shiny so again this is the diamond gel from nail supply glamour and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on all of my nails Okay, so we applied the top coat on all of them. So we're gonna go ahead and put these under the light for 60 seconds. And again, for our colors, we used, um, really all of them were Madame Glam. So we had perfect yellow, we used pumpkin pie, which is my favorite orange. Uh, we used perfect white, which I use a lot. We also have perfect black. We used um, chest to chest, which was the one that I used for the drip. We used perfect red. I used that one for like the little eyes. Um, that's again, perfect red. We used um, fresh me up also for the eyes. And then for one of the eyes, we used grassy sassy. And then for the top coat, we used diamond gel by Nail Supply Glamour. And then we also use their foil gel, which looks like this. And then again, the foils and like these little stickers um, are from Nail Supply, I mean not Nail Supply, but from Amazon. So I'll leave those links down below. Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. They turned out pretty good. I am loving this eye that I was able to achieve. I honestly didn't think I was gonna be able to but I think everything just looks so pretty again. So I use the foil for these. This is a sticker, this is acrylic. That's polish, polish, foil, and then polish. So I threw in quite a few different, you know, things on my nails. Um, so as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at getnail32, and I'll see you guys next time.
and then they do glow as well so i'll be showing you a picture